hey there guys welcome back to my channel um, today you're gonna to learn how to model the wall clock on blender okay we'll try to model the wall clock you <clears throat> you're currently seeing um, so stick around to the end of the video to find out how to model um, a wall clock by the way this is the part one of this um, tutorial um, yeah so this is the part one of the tutorial after this I'll be uploading the um, part 2 in a few days time okay so um, so I'm going to de delete the default cube we don't need that and save um, I um, progress so far so I'm going to pick a random name wall clock uh, made in blender yeah so wall clock made in blender now um, I'm going to add um, a cylinder yeah to model this wall clock we will start with a cylinder ensure you increase your vertices to something very high like 180 or any value higher than 100 we need it to be very very high we need the resolution of the um <clears throat> cylinder to be very very high next scale down the cylinder on the z axis okay guys please don't, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on your post notification bell to get updated anytime i drop a new video all right so um <clears throat> scale the cylinder on the z axis to the required uh, you know, dimension next go to the edit mode and go to the face select mode uh, go to the top view mode all right so in the top view mode ensure the face only the top face is of the clock selected now insert the face by hitting i on your keyboard okay insert it just as much as i've done mine then e then g z to you know um bring down the face you've um inserted <coughs> you've extruded after inserting Alright, so you have to repeat the same process again. Select the remaining face, um, E to extrude, E then right click to extrude and leave at that same point, then bring it down again on the Z axis. Alright. Alright, so um, insert Y in the top view, insert and scale it down so much so that it's very small. So, um, ensure you're in the edit mode, switch to wireframes, then extrude the same face, extrude it on the Z axis. So, we're trying to create the pin or the hinge for the hands of the clock. Okay, so um, just give it a good height, then bevel the top, ensure the, f the top of the um, hinge is still selected, bevel, contribute to bevel just scroll your mouse wheel um that should do okay um so we're gonna try to create the hands of the clock now and that's very very easy so ensure you are in the x-ray and the wireframes then go to objects mode um then shift a add a plane then scale it down and so you've scaled it down very well and finally you're going to scale it down on the x axis i wish it's scaled down like properly just follow uh, my lead yeah so just scale it down you can zoom in if you're not seeing very well you can switch between the viewport more than you know your wireframes just to see clearly what you're doing so zoom in just screw your mouse uh if you're using a mouse or i don't know your trackpad just zoom in and then scale on the x axis we need it to be very very um thin just 
you know you can use a reference image for your clock hands if you don't know what to do now switch to edit mode to edge select then select the bottom edge and extrude it on the y axis yeah, extrude it on the y axis okay next so you extrude the top edge um extrude it um make sure it's very high close to the top of the face of the clock okay and that's pretty much our clock hand so for the other hands no, there are three to create the other hands just duplicate shift d to duplicate twice and then rename each of the um, clock hand so the first one will be the second hand next one will be the uh, minute hand and the one the third one will be the hour hand so um yeah just rename it's very important to rename each of the hands it's all possible while editing each of them okay so um, you can switch back to your viewport mode go back to the top view select the second hand we're going to work on the second hand now we're going to try to edit this proper so the slash key to give you the um, focus on the second hand so why in um object mode we we'll scale down on the x as is we're going to make it as thin as we can and i will advise you to make yours very very thin even thinner than what i've done scale it, scale it on the x as to make it very thin make it as thin as you can so click on the minute hand do the same scale it down to make sure it's thin but n not as thin as the second hand so we're going to try to make this one a bit stylish all right, so we're going to create a loop control i also create a loop cut yeah um place it where i did scale the tip down on the x axis click on the hour hand we're going to make it stylish to the slash key to give you the focus click on the top vertices bring it down on the z axis on the y axis rather create a loop cut midway through scale it out then the top vertices scale it inwards on the x axis mm. all right so we're just gonna make this one stylish like the uh, mini hand not so much you can make yours simple if you want just pick any reference image you want and stick to that next we're gonna create separate materials for the clock frame and its face so the cl main clock frame is going to be a black material while the um, face will be a white material okay so a to select all the um, clock frame itself so a to select the clock frame or left click to um select just everywhere but the face of the clock so creating material for the body the frame and choose the black color we need a black um frame assign the material it's very very important to assign the material next click on the face select everything but the face so select everything but the frame so we're selecting the face now the face of the clock then choose a separate material for it and assign so this material you ensure it's white so the material will be white uh, and just ensure you you assign the material Next, go, go to the shading um, tab and add a image texture node. So, for our image texture node, we use it to import a texture for our clock face. So, you can download any um, texture for your clock face from the net. 
just any one you want it could be the one with roman numerals or regular numbers now connect the color of the image texture to the base color go to the uv editing move the clock face to the middle of the um, texture and then scale it out to fix the texture perfectly so ensure the clock face fits perfectly on the um, texture okay so um, just scale if you need to move if you need to and don't forget G for grab or move to ensure it fits perfectly and then we'll go to our shading we'll go back to our shading tab and see what we've done so far so for a more realistic look you just have to go to your output settings i believe and then for your render engine change from ev to cycles yeah so while in cycles you see more realistic um view of the um texture just imported all right guys so we're almost done with this part though it's a two-part series right so the second part will be animating the hands of the wall clock okay so um select the clock frame and then give it a material in the um render view we've done that in the viewport now we need to give it a material in the render view um port all right so it's a black material like we had in the um in the main viewport so in the render view mode to be black just like the um viewports itself for the clock face it also be white in the um render view so um you can put in the right output settings and show you fix um you select your denoise if you're using um, the most recent version of Blender, you have your denoise option. So thank you so much for watching.